Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Court. Now, the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Court handles DUIs and misdemeanor crimes. So if your ticket says you're supposed to go there, you were charged with either a DUI or a misdemeanor, and you were arrested by either DPS or Maricopa County Sheriff's Office. If you were arrested by a city cop, you should be over in the city court. Now, this particular court has boundaries of uh, Glendale Avenue to the north, McKellips Road to the south, 87th Way to the east, and Central Avenue to the west. Now, the actual boundaries are kind of uh, all over the place. This is the actual map of the boundaries. Now, if you were cited into the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Court, you're going to want to have an attorney such as us make sure you were cited in the proper jurisdiction. If you were not, that's a potential defense, and that's why you need to come see us. Now, this particular court is located at 620 West Jackson Street in what's known as the Downtown Justice Center. It's one building that has about four or five different justice courts. Uh, this is in Downtown Phoenix. Zip code is 85003. Now, when you go there, they have parking out front. They have a parking garage or paid parking at the meters. You should dress appropriately. No sunglasses, hats, tank tops, or shorts. Don't do that. And when you go to see the judge, his name will be Stephen Sarkis. Now, Stephen's very young. He was endorsed by the former county attorney, Rick Romley, who we like. And he seems to be very fair, so he's a pretty decent judge. Now, if you were cited with a DUI or misdemeanor crime and were directed to go to the Arcadia Biltmore Justice Court, give us a call. We'll set you for a free initial consultation where it doesn't cost anything to meet with us. It takes about um, 30 minutes and we'll go over your case with you from top to bottom. Why is it important to have a lawyer? Keep in mind that these judges, the Justice of the Peace, most of them did not go to law school. They were simply elected into office. That would be like electing your surgeon and then giving them a six-week course in surgery and then they can perform surgery on you just because they won a popularity contest. Although this judge is fair and we like him, it doesn't mean he knows the law that thoroughly. So come on in and see us and we look forward to hearing from you soon.